National Government Tribal Chair and Jan when I lie in Delia though um Sami people who said that here Pagazil Dale and Kainiji Lin Yeah say that a stall on the China Jitlik E Buk E La Hujigo Sak and Kujini Lanaka Din with an adjectis Hun hun jo jai tin sa isa ra stall tinai tlik kung lil na nili. We have a big issue up in Yokmok. Uh, it's a mine that that they want to dig in the middle of one Sami village, and we know you have won uh, the struggle towards uh, mining companies. You're really a a star to us to look up to and and learn from. That's a process we were involved in, our Chilcotin communities, uh, others um, in the Williams Lake area, that um, talk about the impact a mine could do to us. As say 14 people, we have a lot of international um, attention. We won the Aboriginal title, and there's no other nation that's ever won title. It's an inspiration not only to other First Nations here in Canada, but Indigenous groups all throughout the world. My name is Hanna Persson. I'm from Gällivare Skogsamerby. It means uh, Gällivare Forest Sapme community. Uh, I work with reindeers with my father and my family has done that for a long time. The reindeer is the center of the Sapme culture and it's the most important thing. It was a big opportunity for me to come here and see how you live and work in the areas and together with the nature and learn about how you have treated the problems with mining and pressure from the government. <laughs> I brought all my family here to see, to learn from your work and also to see your beautiful nature and meet all your people. Their views of the world is very, very much like ours. Their, their first concern is in the environment and the way in which they look at things, the way they share their songs and how their songs are. Very similar, very similar. Some of the colors they wear and stuff, they like bright colors. They, it seems indigenous people like bright colors and stuff. <laughs> they do. So, so there, there, there's, there's a lot. The trip out on the big lake was really fascinating and fun because it reminded very much about home. Uh, this big difference is that uh, we don't have a forest around if we are up on the mountain, but otherwise the water, the melting water that comes from the glaciers and uh, colors the changes colors, color of the water and everything like that reminded me of, of home and that's really really interesting to see uh, that um, long way from home you can feel like home. It has been a very, a very beautiful trip. It's a beautiful landscape and the people are very kind and we have been treated very well. We have had very interesting discussions with the people and get the opportunity to learn from them. It has been very inspiring for us to see how it can work 
and it would be a dream for us that it worked at the same way back home. We come up with a with the park. We'll come up with agreement to to be able to say you know, we have an agreement with the Sami people, the Salesforce people, a park that we're gonna always stand behind each other and protecting our our culture, our way of life, and our languages and stuff like that. I think you know, as indigenous peoples all around the world, you know, we have to stand up. Hopefully this is a magic stick so we can <laughs> solve all the problems in our territory. Yes, thank you. So we have to really just keep striving and you know have and inspire each other as indigenous peoples around the world. And our story isn't unique, it's not isolated, it's everywhere. Sometimes the only protection indigenous people have is other indigenous people. And that's the network we're trying to create here. Hey, ho, and ho.